All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Optimal Training Group. In this video, I am talking specifically to beginners who may be struggling with creating forms. Um, if that's you, welcome. And I'm, I'm creating this video because of the frustrations that I've had when I first started out in Power Apps. Um, so I'm gonna give you some, some tips. Now, there is this function called the patch function. And it is a very powerful feature that a lot of seasoned developers would recommend to use for every single form because a lot of them use it. You know, a lot of YouTubers that I've come across, fantastic YouTubers, great YouTubers that have a lot of knowledge, you know, they use it for everything. But here's my advice, and I'm, you know, I'm sort of different. If you're dealing with a form that goes beyond the basics, then I would definitely recommend using the patch function because it gives you a lot of flexibility. But if you're dealing with a form that is simple, you know, sticking to the built-in features is what I would recommend. It's, it's, for me, it's the way to go. Um, you know, patch is great, you know, but the basics is, for me, is, is better if it's, you're dealing with something simple. So um, let me go ahead and add a form. So I have this SharePoint list, and I'm going to create, connect to it with a form so you can have, I can be able to, give the ability to add entries into the SharePoint list. So I'm gonna to come to my Power Apps. I've already connected to my travel request. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click Edit Form. And I'm gonna connect my data source to this. So data source on the right-hand side panel. And I'm gonna say Travel Request. So once I do that, it populates my page my screen with this you know it's a controls from my SharePoint list they correspond to the columns in my SharePoint list right now it's showing me in three columns you know I can have six or twelve whatever but for the sake of this video I'm going to do one now here is where my frustration came when I first started out in power apps I would create this form and then I would add a button. Where's my button? Button. And I will submit. And I will add all the, the formulas to make it submit to my list. But then look at that. Oh, let me fix this. So it says no item to display. You just select this. And right here in the def default mode, I need to change that to new. So there you go. When, you, when it's in the edit mode, you need to provide it a data source so that it can populate it with, um, with data. So then, then you can edit it. But anyway, going back to this. So as you can see, when I scroll up and down, you know, that's not a, this is not a good design. My, my, my submit button just is just stagnant. It's just there. It's static. And I don't want it to be that way. I want it to, ha I want, I want it to go with the flow of the form. So how in the world do I do that? You know, and I couldn't figure this out for the life of me. I would, you know, go on different sites and I couldn't find anything. So what you would do is you would click on this, the form. You click on the edit fields. And then right here to the right of this add field, click on that and you have this custom card. And when you click on the custom card, a custom card appears at the bottom of the form. And this custom card allows you to add controls. And because this card is now a part of the form, it follows the flow of the form. You know, whatever control you have here, this is where this is where it'll be unless you move it. So I'm gonna come here. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna come here and I'm, I'm gonna add my button. I'm gonna say submit. let's move this form so now when I come to my you know when I go to the screen when I when I go live when I when I um Sorry, I went blank for a second. <laughs> when I preview the form, as you can see, 
the submit button is not static. You know, it's not floating over the form. You know, it's at the bottom where it, it belongs. Now, just to let you guys know, I just this is just for example purposes. I will never make my form this long unless I needed to. Um, I would usually just break it up in tabs. Um, but knowing about the custom form is is I think is great to know if you are sticking to the built-in feature of Power Apps. Now, if you're if you're using patch and you know you put it under control yourself you can kind of control it's more flexible than the built-in form but like i said earlier if it's a simple form just stick to the simple form i mean it kind of does everything for you um and as you can see the submit button is at the bottom now what i usually use that custom card for is when i need to i would usually put a a, a, a control on here like a single uh, like a text box and i would hide it and that's how i would add you know transfer certain data to my sharepoint list you know so like a status or whatever you know so based on the value in the field i needed the that hidden field to have some sort sort of data this is how i would usually do it you know i would just hide the control and pass the data so i hope this makes sense using this custom card i'll probably do a more a few more videos using it i don't know um what are some of the frustrations that you have as a beginner? You know, put it down in your comments and I can probably help with that. Um, also, please share this video and please don't forget to like. It helps out. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.